Hello everyone, my name is Gosha and this is The Magic of Numbers. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you in a few minutes a research that I recently did about two events that happened 10 years ago. And my passions are numbers. I study numbers, I research numbers, I compare numbers, I try to find uh, something special that there is between us and the number world. And as you probably know, numbers are everywhere. You are born on specific day, on specific month, specific year, at specific time, you live at the address, you have specific phone numbers. So numbers are huge part in our everyday life. And I research this events and I research people who took place in specific events to show you how numbers cooperating with each other, how numbers similar to each other or different to each other and what do they mean. And uh, I started researching this event a few months ago, but then I realized that there was another event that happened. Both of these are plane crashes and both of these are kind of mystery. 10 years later and we're still trying to figure out what happened. So maybe in today's presentation, you will have a little bit more of idea what could possibly happen. With all due respect for everybody who unfortunately died in this boat, these events, I'm doing this for the family members so maybe they can get a little bit peace of their mind and get some extra information from the numerological point of view. In um, numerology, we use different type of systems. And uh, there is a Pythagorean system, there is a Gematria, there is a Chaldean numerology. There are many other different systems. All these systems showing us how the numbers cooperating with each other and how do they react to our everyday life and the events that take place. And um, sometime what happened, what may happen, the mystery of the world may be coded into a numbers. So what you need to understand that we live in our real world, but also could be this other mysterious world that we don't see. And there is even that saying that the life is not like you see, like you see it. There is this other not material world that sometimes um, also is connected to our life in this reality. You probably heard about the term matrix. And I'm going to show you what mystery is coded into these two events. So when you look at these two events, what do you see at first, right? We have Malaysia Airline Flight 370, and here we have Malaysia Airline Flight 17, right? This happened on Friday, this happened on Thursday, this happened on March 8, 2014, this happened on uh, July 17, 2014, 31 days apart. This first event, that was the mystery uh, event that happened. The plane just disappeared. It was a flight from um, Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The plane just disappeared at some point. It was never found. A debris supposed to be found to, a few years later, but we still don't know if that was actual debris of that plane. But until today, 10 years later, we still don't have an answer. And this event happened uh, in July, and that was the plane that unfortunately was shot by a Ukrainian uh, soldier. There was a war going on in 2014 between uh, Russia and Ukraine, and unfortunately the soldier shot, and this plane was hit, and there was many casualties, and um, I'm doing all of this with due respect to uh, 
family members who are seeking for answers because I'm pretty sure there is a lot of people who are trying to figure out what happened on this each event. So maybe in today's presentation, at least you will get some type of answers and possibility that may happen. So I'm going to show you first uh, what's, what is numerology and how do numbers work with each other. So uh, the basic numerology system that are, uh, a lot of us numerologists use is Pythagorean numerology. And in Pythagorean numerology, we use numbers from 1 to 9. And each letter is assigned to a number, as you can see, from 1 to 9. And what do you get from these numbers? You can decode your first name, your last name, your middle name. You can also find, you can find your life path number and discover what is your um, mission in this world. You can also get a lot of other information uh, looking at someone's uh, date of birth or someone's name. So that's very magical. So, um, I'm going to give you an example of Elvis Aaron Presley and his birthday, okay? So as you can see, Elvis Aaron Presley, you find the letter and you find the vibration of each letter and you write it down and you add all these letters to each other until you get a single number. In this case, it's 22. 22 is a master number, but we're still going to add it in this case to number 4. So you add all the numbers in someone's names, in your own name as well. You get them to single number. And uh, when you add all these single numbers, at the end, you find the vibration of Elvis Presley's name. To find your life path number, you add all the numbers in your birthday. Usually you're going to find double digits. Then those two double digits, you add to each other, and this is going to be your life path number. That is your mission in this life. This is what you came here to this world and uh, what you need to accomplish to uh, get happiness from the life. Uh, there are other uh, systems in the numerological world that we use, but one of them is Gematria that I'm going to use today. There's also Chaldean numerology and there is several other systems, right? Same thing like with astrology, you get information through the planets. In numerology, you get information for yourself, for the world events through numbers. And it's very, um, it's very unusual and very uh, magical what you can discover. So as you can see, in Gematria, we use numbers straight to the 26, right? So each letter, it's in numerological order, right? So A is 1, B is 2, N is 14, O is 16. So this is one way of decoding words. Gematra is decoding um, words through the numbers, okay? So there is, other, there is also other way in Gematria to find some information. And that is reverse counting. When Z is equal 1, Y2, X3, W4, and so far until you get to 1 and uh, until you get to the 1 and A become 26. And also in Gematria, there is another way to find information from the numbers, and that is reduce you reducing numbers from the double digits to a single digit and then there is reverse reduce means from the double digits from the beginning to the end you also reduce these numbers and you also get additional code seems complicated but it's not really complicated once you know your numbers it's pretty pretty easy so this is what we're going to work with. I'm also, in my researches, I also use uh, prime numbers. If you don't know what prime numbers are, prime numbers are uh, numbers that are divided by, by one and by itself. And um, um, so this is a quick explanation. How do numbers work with letters and how do numbers work with words? And for example, 
through Gematria. I hope you can see this. Malaysia. So in this first example, I use the Pythagorean numerology to find Elvis name. In Gematria, when you add all the numbers straight ahead, you find the numbers on the board. When you add everything to each other, it gives us vibration of 81. 8 plus 1 equals 9. A lot of numerologists, they will not add numbers in Gematria, the double numbers. They will just leave it like it is. However, in my today presentation, I want to show you why am I uh, getting to a single number and what do I want to show you through this uh, discovery of today. Okay. So like I say in the very beginning, uh, we got two events that happens in 2014. This was the plane that disappeared from Mother Earth. And this was the plane that unfortunately was shot and a lot of people died. And I'm going to show you how these two events are connected to each other and what we can decode from each event and what, and what answers we can find. So let's begin. So what do we know? There is a lot of information here. I'm going to try to explain the best way I can. So what do we have in here? So uh, the first flight, the flight that disappeared from Mother Earth, it was Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. So now... I check the vibration of each word, Malaysia Airline flight, and spelling on 370, and that gave me a number of four, 470. In uh, Pythagorean numerology, we do not use zero, so when we're not going to use zero here, 4 plus 7 equals 11. You're going to see in my presentation that we're going to get a lot of 9 and 11 in this part, and then we're going to get 7 and 17 in this part. And I'm going to show you how everything is connected to each other, how can we decode what happened here and get some extra information. So, 4 plus 7, 11. Next thing. This event, unfortunately, happens on March 8. 3 plus 8, that's 11. The year 2014 when you add all these digits to each other we're gonna get seven and at the end the vibration on this entire day and uh, year 18 and that equals 9 right that was March 8 is 67th day of the year and it's leaving 298 days to the end of the year now when we're gonna spell 370, 370, this is very interesting, 56, 74, and uh, 110, and please look at this, when you add 5 plus 6, 7 plus 4, and when we're not going to use 0, all these numbers reduce to 11, so once I saw this, that this reduced to every single uh, word reduces to number 11, and 11 in numerology is a master number, I decide to check what it means. So 3 times 11 give us a master number 33. And master number 33 in numerology, we call it a master teacher. So next thing what I did, I checked the prime number. So 33rd prime number in numerology, I'm, I'm sorry, not in numerology, but 33rd prime number in general is 137. And same thing, when you add all these numbers to each other, 7, 3, and 1, we get number 11. So I, I, I thought my, to myself, let me check what is the 11th prime number. So the 11th prime number is 31. And on the 31st place in prime numbers is 127. And you may think at first that this doesn't like go anywhere, but believe me, it does. And all this information is 
giving you extra information so please pay attention what we're gonna get next so next thing what i did i checked spelling of march 8 3 8 right so march is 43 8 is 49 together it gives me a vibration on 92 and that also is equal 11. Um, so next thing what i did I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to check the um, uh, spelling of 11, right? But then I'm thinking to myself, on East Coast in the United States, we have this convenience stores called 7-Eleven. I'm not sure if they are in other uh, states. They probably are, but we here have 7-Elevens everywhere. So, 11... When you spell it, give me vibration on 63, 6 plus 3, that's 9, and 7, spelling of the 7, give me a vibration of 65, and that equals 11. So there is this mystery about 9 and 11 everywhere, as you can see, right? So the next thing, what I did, I check how many casualties there were. So 239 people die, unfortunately, in this first mystery plane disappearance. And they were 227 passengers, 12 crew members. And there was the information that there was 153 Chinese citizens. So uh, since this information was um, in several different sites that I checked, so I decided to see if I'm going to deduct the 153 from the entire number of 227 passengers, I'm getting 74 at the end. And 227 give me 11 and 153 give me 9. And as you can see, when you divide 153 from 227, we got the number 74 and that's number 11. And that's so funny because when I'm recording this today is July 4th and we got 740 here and a couple other places. So, uh, so the next thing that I want to talk to you about, we're going to go to this board now. And what do we have here? We have Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, right? And I did the same thing. I check vibration of each word that you can see, 81, 87, 63, and that's give me a number of 339. It happens on July 17, 2014, and that's a master number of 22. And uh, July 17 is 198th day of the year, and it leaves 167 day to the and, and as you can see, this first, between those two events, there was 131 days difference. So since I saw there was a 17 here, the flight number 17, and it happened on the 17. So next, what I decide to do is to check what the 17 means. So the spelling of 17 gave us a vibration of 109 straightforward reduce vibration 37 reverse 134 but reverse reduce number master number 44 so the vibration of july 17 when you spell it it gives 177 and that's so funny because 177, it's a mirror number of July 17. Here we got 177, 717. Sometime in research like this, we use mirror numbers or we have to play with the numbers because if the numbers are the same but in in different order 
they also mean that they have similar, they bring similar information. So the next thing what I did, I check the spelling of one and seven, which give us 17. And one is 34, which equals seven, and seven equals 65, and that gives us number 11. And reverse vibration of number one is 47, and that equals 11. And the reverse vibration of seven give us also seven. So since I saw in this event that there is like a lot of sevens and a lot of seventeens, so I, I thought to myself, I'm going to see what can I find about that seven and seventeen. What does it mean when it shows itself so much to me? So seven seventeen is not a prime number, but is divided by three. 3 times 239 is 717. And when do we find this 239? Please look at this. 239. 239 people die in this first plane disappearance. Then uh, uh, the aircraft Boeing 777 200 ER. There was a number of that Boeing that I also checked. So when you uh, spell seven, it gives you a vibration of 65. So that's what I put here 11, 11, 11. And again, three times, three times 11, like in fly 317. And then when I check the spelling of 200 ER, that gave me a total of 155, which also equal 11. So then I check seven times 17. Because we have that seven, that seven, I, I, I realize that I want to see something else, if I can find some additional information. So seven times 17, it gave us 119, 11 and 9. So next, in this, in this um, incident, unfortunately, 298 people died. 283 passenger and 50 crew members. And when I check the difference between the casualties in both events, it was 59. 59 more people die in this uh, plane crash. And 59 is 70, 17 prime number. As you can see, so there's also connection between 59 and 17. So, uh, so now next information. What do we know next? This plane was flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, and I checked the vibration. Kuala Lumpur equals 147, and Beijing equals 56, and 56 also equals 11. When I check the vibration of the entire airport name, it was Kuala Lumpur International Airport, and that equals 396, if you can see. Okay, I'm gonna just break my page here. And that equals of 396, when you add all these numbers to each other, it gives me 18, one plus eight, nine. Red, uh, reduce vibration, if we're gonna reduce to single numbers, it gives me vibration of 144, which is equal nine. The other airport that this plane was flying to, it's called Beijing Capital International Airport. The vibration of uh, this name gives me 367, but in reverse, it gives me 551, and that also equal 11. And 551, it's a mirror number of this aircraft 
uh, this aircraft number here, 200 ER, mirror number of the same thing. So I, the next thing what I did, I checked what was, where was this flight flying from? So this flight was flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. And Amsterdam gave us a number of 94, that equals 13, and Kuala Lumpur, 147. And when I checked the entire name numerologically, Amsterdam, Amsterdam Sheephole Airport, I think that's what it's pronounced, I'm not sure, equals 281, and 2 plus 8 plus 1 also equals 11. And when we're going to get to the reduced numbers, it gives us a vibration of 1, 1, and 9. And Kuala Lumpur is same like here, 396, that give me 18, that equals 9, reduce 144, and that is equal 9. So the next thing, this event happens on March 8, and that was Friday. So I decide to check the spelling of that. So Friday, March 8, equals 155, and that that is equal 11 and 155 was the number as you can see of the E200 ER right so uh, so I checked the distance I also checked the distance and see how far is it from this one place to another so from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing by air we have a distance of 2000 702.18 miles, 27 plus 2, 11, 1 plus 8, 9. So the next thing, I check which day this event took place. So this event took place on Thursday, July 17, and that equals to 293. But... Well, as I was looking for information about this event, I found out that July 17 is Day of International Criminal Justice. And when I check vibration of that entire uh, name of that day, it gives me 369, which is equal 18, and that gives me 9. And 369, it's a special spiritual number as you probably know if you know that uh, you may read about it and see what it tells you 369 right tesla was all about 369 so the next thing what i check flight 17 was marked as K klm flight 4103 so i check if i can get additional information from from this name each aircraft is marked either klm and other other um, makers mark their planes depends who make them right so klm give me 36 and that equals 9 flight 62 and uh, this number so when i check vibration of every word in here so that is 9 plus 6 plus all the plus 2 that give me 17 but when I add these numbers to the 17 I get 25 and what do I get 17 and 7 it's the day of this event so you see how everything is coded in numbers you may see in the beginning that this is just the accident that this is just this just happens just because it happens we don't know what happened but there is some type of mystery that is coded into events into the numbers that for some reason things are connected to each other so let's go to the next page So what, what do we get here? So same thing. This is Malaysia. Let me just fix my screen a little bit. So this is Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. 
and this is Malaysia Airline Flight 17. I wrote again the date so you know which site is responsible for which uh, information. So the next thing what I checked was who is the captain. It's pretty much impossible to find a list of passengers and the names and the ages and the birthdays that is impossible and would probably even if, if someone would find it, it will take forever to um, check everything. But um, why am I doing this? these plane crashes? Why am I researching these events? Because there is a lot of information that you can find and you can compare to each other and you can study and see how all these numbers are cooperating with each other. What information do they bring us? So that's what I'm, what I'm doing this event to show you how everything is coded into numbers. So the first captain of this flight, Flight 370, was Zahari Ahmed Shah. He was 52 years old. His birthday was 7 July 31st, 1961. So again, 7 plus 3 plus 1, that gives us number 11. And uh, his life path was number uh, 1. But the year, 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 1 gives us 17. Now, vibration of his entire name gives us 131. Sorry, something was like... Okay, so vibration of his uh, name was 131. And we have 131 days difference between those two events. First pilot, first pilot of this first event was Farik Abdul Hamid. He was 26, so he was half of the age of the first pilot. He was born of April 1st, 1987, life but three, and vibration of his entire name, 126. When we add all these digits to each other, we get a number nine. And this was his final training flight on Airbus, A330-300. So when I check the spelling of 330-300, it gave me 360. 3 plus 6, that equals 9. And then... When you see here, when you spell 3, 3 gave us a number of 56, 5 plus 6, 11. So we got 11, 11, 1, 11, 1, 1. So that's very interesting that at first you see a number that is totally different, but then once you find the spelling of that number, it gives us a little bit different story, right? We got or 1s here. So uh, next what I did, I check the uh, spelling of Beijing, that gives me 56, 56 and that equals 11. March 8th, Friday, March 8th is 155, that also equals 11. Last voice from this aircraft last voice was recorded at 1 19 a.m. and remember from the previous page 7 times 17 equals 119 and the last words that were say at this event were good night Malaysian 370 so I checked the spelling of that quote and that was also 56 Give us 11, 65, give us 11, and 1. So the next thing, very interesting information what I found. The aircraft was car carried 49,100 kilograms or 108.200 pounds of fuel, including reserved for 7 hours and 31 
minutes. And where do we find 731? 731 was the birthday of the captain of that plane. So then when I saw this number repeat itself twice in my calculations, so I decided to see what can I find about this number, 731. 731, it's not a prime number, but 17 times 43, it's an, but 17 times 43 gives 731. But, it, but 731, it's a mirror number from 137, right? And 137 is 33rd prime number. Right? Yes. Okay. And we saw this on the previous uh, page. So the next information that I found for you, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, spelling of that airline, gave us 470, right? But we not gonna consider zero and that was Friday and a uh, few weeks earlier I was reading something about Black Friday or maybe that was around a uh, Black Friday uh, a couple months ago and I remember that Black Friday also equals 47 so that's what I I put it in here because this was unfortunately Black Friday too, because the plane disappeared and we don't have an answer about it. So I checked the vibration of Black Friday. So Black Friday, we just move this a little bit here. So Black Friday, Black is 29 and that equals 11. And Friday is equal 63 and that is equal 9. So we have again 11 and 9 in this calculation. So the next thing that I check, who is the captain in this other flight, okay? This flight was the flight that was shot over Ukraine on July 17th. So the captain of this flight was Van Amran Van Hussein. So I check the vibration of each of his names and please look at this 11 11 11 and this give us 9 so again 3 times 11 the entire vibration of his name give us a number of 213 but if you if you add these numbers to each other from each of his names you will find number 11 so again i did 3 times 11 gives me 33, right? And 33rd prime number is 137. 137, right? And that's the mirror of 137. We also find it here, which is the mirror number of 731. So... The second captain was Eugene Cho Jin Leon. Vibration of his name gave us 184. And he was born October 28, 1969. The date of his birth gave us 36. Life path number 9. But the day and the month of his birth give us 11. First officer in this incident was Ahmad Hakimi Hanopi. He was 29, 2 plus 9, 11, and vibration of his name give us 127. He was born on January 23rd, 1995, and that also uh, gave us his life path number 11. So this was the first officer, and then we have the second first officer. So the second first officer was, uh, just want to make sure that everything works. So the second first officer was Muhammad 
Firadu Abdul. He was 26. He was very young. Rahim. Rahim, yes. And his vibration of his entire name give us number of 228. And he was born July 21st, 1987. Uh, he got a life path of number 8. But once I check all this information, I decide to see who was the shooter, who was the, the guy that unfortunately shot this plane. So he was Ukrainian, and his name was Vladislav Voloshin. Vibration of his name is 248. He was also 26, same like this, uh, like this uh, first officer, and same like the pilot here, the first pilot. He was born December 27, 1988. And also we see 38 from his uh, date of birth, life path, master number 11. And uh, his date of his day of birth gives us a vibration of nine and the year of his birth gives us 26 and he was 26 at the moment of shooting that plane. So the interesting information that I found was that he was he had 33 combat missions. So that was interesting because the 33 numbers also repeat itself a few times in my calculations. And unfortunately, he, I'm not going to say it, but he did this. He died on March 18, 2018. And please look at this. He was born on 12, 1 plus 2 give me 3, this is 3, 2 plus 7 give me 9, this is 9, and the year when he died give me 11. And he was 29, 9 years old when he died, and that also give me 11. So I check when this, where was this plane shot at? Where is it in which part of Ukraine? So it happens when you're gonna check the English uh, sites, you're gonna see the name of Donetsk Oblast, but that's not a proper name. This is the English name that um, a lot of sites use, but the proper name on that play on that place when this uh, plane was shot was Grabove Donetschina. And that gave me a vibration, okay, that gives me a vibration on 170, but without zero, we got number 17, which gave us the day number of 17 here. And one more thing that I forgot to mention, that when I use the full name of Malaysia Airline Flight 370, spelling on 370, and Malaysia Airline Flight 17, and I, and I, uh, I check the um, each vibration number, and I deduct from 470. When I deduct 339, it gave me a number of 131, and 131 equals. The difference in the days between this event and this event and captain of the first aircraft name also equals on 131. And one more thing from the previous page that I forgot to mention earlier that I just realized that uh, you can see that in this disaster, 298 people die, 283 passengers and 50 crew members. And where do we find 298? 298 days left to the end 
of the year after March 8. We got 298 and we have 298 here. So these are the other two things that I want to show you. And also one more thing that I find out for you. When I was uh, researching those two events, I find something interesting about the number uh, 17, right? Grabowe donechnia equals 170 without zero is equal to 17. That gives us eight. It was flight 17. One plus seven equals eight. Day of this second event was the 17th. One plus seven equals eight. Thursday equals 116. One plus one plus six equals eight. And also on this day, the sun was in the sign of Cancer. And Cancer in Gematria is, is 44. Four plus four equals eight. And 17th is the seventh prime number. So you see the connection between seven and 17th. 17 is seventh prime number. And number eight, what I also find up, represent um, Saturn. We got seven main planets, but in numerology, we use uh, numbers from one to nine, and each uh, planet has a corresponding number. So sun, is, sun we also use as a, a planet in numerology. So sun is one, the number one, moon is number two, Jupiter is number three, Uranus is number four, Mercury is number five, Venus number six, Neptune number seven, Saturn number eight, and Mars number nine. So these are the corresponding numbers to the planets. And uh, eight is represent representation of the eight is Saturn. And Saturn is called the Lord of Karma, which means when Saturn in astrology enters to one of your houses, uh, it is a representation of balance. It's a representation of um, uh, what good you did for yourself and you for your others. You're gonna get pay now, right? Saturn watches you. Saturn um, uh, prize you. But Saturn is all about the balance between the material world and the spiritual world. So I found this very interesting. And I was say before, sometimes mystery are coded into the numbers. And as you can sh see from my presentation, there is a lot of mystery here that you probably find very interesting. And you can see that all these numbers, they correlating with each other. And numbers like 9, uh, 11, uh, one seventeen seven. These are all very spiritual number numbers. They talking about self awareness, spiritual uh, growth, uh, balance between the uh, material world and the spiritual world and the higher being. So to end this video, you may ask, why am I doing this? What's the point of checking the vibration of and decoding on all these two events. Number uh, one, it's a 10 years anniversary on both of this, these events. And this one is coming in July 17. And with all due respect to all uh, family members who lost, lost their loved ones, I decided to show you a different uh, view on the situation and decode the mystery that are represented in numbers and show you what um, is connecting to all these events and if there is anything else that may um, show you that uh, things are not happening really by 
accident. So as you can see, in this first event, uh, it, 9 and 11 show itself really frequently. In this one too, they, they both connected, but 9 in, and 11, like I previously says about the gates that are opening themselves from time to time, gate number 9, gate number 11. And that's my theory. That's something from my calculation that makes sense to me. You may agree or not, but this is a different point of view on this situation. So number 9 and 11, what do they represent? Number 9 is all about completion. Number 9 is whole. In Pythagorean numerology, number 9 is the higher single number in the entire cycle. And it usually represents um, a final stage of something ending of something. Um, if you are in your nine uh, year personal number, you're not supposed to start a new business, new career. You're supposed to concentrate on the cleaning up and concentrating on um, your present stage. In year number one, you start new things and number nine is always about ending a cycle. Number nine also represent um, connection between people, connect, connection between um, individuals. Uh, it also remind us about um, uh, the faithfulness of the situation. Uh, also remind us about forgiveness and everything that connect you to the completion of the situation. Number 11, it's a master number. And it's a master teacher number. And uh, 11 teaches about self-awareness because 11 is double one, one and one. And one is always a representation of self. But double one, it's one and one, it's 11. It, it it says that it master number 11 is sent it through this realm through the gods to teach people the self-awareness of spiritual side right that the the material position is not number one that also our spiritual side and everything that connect us to the outside of this reality should be also very important. And then in this other events, uh, we have frequency of number 17, right? 717. 7 is also a number of spirituality. 1 is self. 1 always represent self-awareness, self-growth, moving forward, starting new things. And uh, number 17 itself, it's very powerful number, and it also uh, tells us about spiritual awakening, uh, transformation, personal growth, transformation through challenges, because 17, a lot of people like 17, and 17, it's a nice number, it's a personal spiritual growth number, but it also tell 17 teaches toughness because people who are born on the 17th day of the month, they, they may be lucky in some areas, but they have to get through a lot of challenges. 17 is a very powerful number, but you're going to get um the good side of 17 once you go through all the challenges from the number one and number seven uh, and 17 has this strong powerful connection to the spiritual uh, realm 17 represent courage represents strength represent leadership independence and 17 is it represents harmony and leadership and one plus seven give us eight. 
An eighth is always associated with power, material success, deeper understanding of life purpose, and balance. Eight is always about balance between the material world and the spiritual world. So once you work through your one and through your seven to get to the eight, you may, you may get the prices of the number eight if you one and seven is work the right way. So that's why I did this presentation to show you that there is a strong connection between two of these events, in this case, these two events, but there is also a lot of mystery coded into the numbers. And uh, the code here is for us, the people who are still here on this earth, to get through these challenges, to learn that every single day and every single moment of our life is precious to the end. And we should love each other and we should respect each other and we should cherish every single moment that we have with each other because life brings us surprises and that balance in life is very important not to be egoistic not to be um, cl very close to that material side of the world but also work on our self awareness so we can be connected to our spirit to our uh, special side that is deep inside of us so thank you very much for watching i hope this uh, presentation was helpful i hope you found something interesting that may help you understand what happened and why world works the way it does and i'm doing this with all due respect to everyone who is connected to this event to show you that beside our matrix that we, we live here now, there is also this other side that sometimes unexpectedly open its gates and bring us to the other side to a different world. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like it, maybe you can leave me a comment and let me know what you think about my presentation. And if you would like me to research another event, you can also leave me a comment and maybe I can work on something else in the future and um, show you a different point of view of different situation. Thank you again. Uh, have a good day and I see you next time. The best to you.